What's up guys, Cody here with I'll Review It All, and <clears throat> today, excuse me, today I'll be reviewing the Streamlight Singer DS LED light. Um, there are one or two reviews on YouTube of it right now, but when I was looking, because <clears throat> whenever I buy something I always do a lot of searching and reviewing and just, yeah, that's a good excuse for saying I might to surf the internet to spend money. Um, I don't like buying blindly, if that makes any sense, so I did a lot of research and I just could not find a really good straightforward review of everything that's in the box. So as you can see, this is the Streamlight Singer LED. The Singer LED line is not too new, but it is new to the past two years. Normally it's just an incandescent bulb. What you get is a little... Boom. Pretty much just some information as far as battery wise. Sorry, my nails are dirty. I am in automotive school and it pretty much stains. So, good little reading there, bathroom material. The instruction manual. I always do recommend reading the manuals for flashlights, especially just because there's so many different kind of flashlights, so many different ways of usage. So, you always want to make sure that you know what you're doing. So let's see what you get in the box. I already removed the, uh, the wall charger because I was plugging that right in so you can see that. You also get a uh, car charger. For the car charger, you either have to, the only way you can use this socket here is if with the um, your cigarette lighter, it stays on constantly. Because if you keep having, if you shut the key off and this turns off and keeps going back on and off, you can risk damaging the battery. So they either recommend hard running directly to the battery and it's a 0.1 amp draw. I will be putting that in the description so you don't do the searching. 0.1 amp draw, okay? And then the wall charger I have in the in the search ship right now, so that way once it, once I'm ready, I can plug it right in. Comes with two screws. What are you wondering about those for? Gotta get all the, the boring stuff out of the way first. You have a anti-roll ring, sometimes people call it a tactical suppressor. Meanwhile, it pretty much means that if you smash somebody in the head with it, it's going to be a little bit softer, it's going to knock them out, but oh, okay. Comes with that. And a little finger hat. Now this is for the, uh, the double battery. If you purchase the piggyback charger, which I shall show you right now, this guy here, and there's a little twist tie. Anyway, one box, put that over there. This is, let's see if we can get the, sorry about the light. It's only a good place in my dorm room right now. If you purchase the piggyback charger, anywhere you buy it, it does come with the second rechargeable battery. That is what this piece here is for. You put that over it, so that way you can draw this in your pack and you don't have to uh, worry about it short, shorting out. Come on. YouTube videos are hard and people think. Um, everything is done with the top of the battery. You, the bottom is exposed, but it's pretty much the positive and the negative. It's a metal bar right there. You can kind of catch the light. It goes up, so it charges just with that spring right in there. There's nothing on the back. So that pushes in and goes like that. And again, sorry for the lighting, but it's only good lighting I have so far. But here's the light. Now to get it out, you can either just pivot and take it out like that. Now to put it in, they recommend you mounting it like this. So pretty much when you come home, you slide it down and you just pull it right on in. So there you have it, there's that. It is a very stiff thing, so you can't, you can shove it in like that, but there's too much force, don't want to break it. It is all plastic assembly here. So quick like that, or you can even just push it in like so. Twist it, and you're good to go. All right. Now, you can kind of get a good image of the C4 LED right in there. And it does have one battery already pre-installed. And uh, you can get more of these batteries. So if you wanted to have three extra batteries, just for fun, you certainly can. And now, uh, this is not a LiPo battery. It is a uh, NIM battery. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, it is a NIM battery. Made in Mexico, so no America. Battery goes in like that. Tell you the pretty much the nicest thing is just a big spring. There's not that much resistance and it is nice threads. They are very nice. Come on, focus, focus. 
Come on, this is why I bought you a camera. Come on. Yeah. It's a very slow autofocus. Uh, up, you can kind of see him. There we go. It's a nice, very, very deep thread. So you don't, you can't always cross thread, but it's not as easy as you would think. Now the DS does stand for dual switch. So you have one on the back. Oop, see your mode right there. And then one on top. They do operate independently from each other. So if you want, you can get the, uh, the normal backing for this. So you lose the back switch. If you want it, you have it. Otherwise, you can order the um, either the flashlight without the dual switch, or you can get a, a tail cap without it. So the nice thing with the fact that they operate independently, I can turn on here and turn on off on the back. Now to change the mode, you just click it, and then you press and hold, and you'll see it go down, and then back up, and that's it. It is uh, at max is 350 lumens or 24,000 candela. People, yeah, pretty damn bright. If you think of it that way, uh, mag lights are about sometimes around 30 to 40 lumen, depending on like the old incandescent AA ones. Again, this freaking lighting. I'll probably end up redoing this video because I don't like it too much, but whatever. Um, main reason I got this flash right here, a uh, good friend of mine, Steve, is uh, graduated from Alfred State College, which I'm in now, and uh, he has this exact flashlight. So one day when he was over working on my sister's car, who he is dating right now, um, he was working on my sister's car, and then he was working on my dad's car checking the brakes. And uh, this is the flashlight he had, and he was telling me how he's had this thing for a few years now. Um, not this, the pretty much this exact model, except he doesn't have the dual switch. Um, and it's just a very robust light. He's dropped in coolant, oil, all kinds of things. He's lost it in the snow, because he also works at a recovery uh, company, um, towing. So he was using it, dropped it in the snow. Only reason they found it was they saw the light. Um, and then, as you can see, if you click it, turn on, then turn it off, and then back on real quick, it is a strobe light, so you can. Do, 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 do. Um, and then, let's see if we can get this head off here. But the length is 8.85 inches, uh, right around 9 inches, weighs about 12 ounces. Uh, it is has some heft to it, uh, easily comparable to a probably 2C mag light, something like that. You get a nice image in there. It is a orange peel and smooth reflector, so you get a good beam. You also get a decent hot spot, so you have distance to it, um, but it is a very usable light. Of course, it's not going to pick it up now just because how bright it is. And then. To charge it this right here goes right on into the bottom like so and you'll see the two LEDs on this is a 10 hour slash steady charge so you you'll probably always see these lights on because say I take it out I go beat somebody up I blind them with it when I come home just from like about five minutes of use the battery is gonna be used a little bit so it's just gonna be a constant charge so you can leave it like that. They recommend mounting it like that. Oh, don't want to lose my little hat there. Recommend mounting it on the wall like so. You can mount it any way you want. Um, you can also car mount it. Um, but there are specifications when car mounting it. Uh, if you go onto their website, which I will link in the description, they have uh, recommended ways of mounting because you don't want this thing falling on you if you hit a bump. Uh, but it is a nice rock solid. And uh, right down here, Let's see if we can get this ring on here. I personally like the ring just because you kind of, if you have it like that, it's not going to roll away, um, and it will always still fit. So that was my quick review of the uh, Stream White Stinger DS LED flashlight. Uh, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, there is a very, very high chance I'll be remaking this video, uh, possibly later in the day. I'm going to edit, upload this, and if I really don't like it, you'll be seeing a new video. So until then. Have a great weekend, you guys.